hello everyone welcome back to another video here on my channel today we're going to be talking about how you can make your own perfume at home now perfumery is quite a unique science i am no expert <laughs> let me just say that right now i am no expert i am not a perfumist and i am not <clears throat> excuse me an aromatherapist by all means um, if you know someone, definitely reach out to them um, and, you know, and consult them with your DIY perfume making. Um, now, what I'll be sharing today is a very simple, simple recipe using plants that you may have in your backyard um, and or essential oils. So as you can see here, I'm just repurposing um, a bottle that was found in the house. Here is a mixture of the alcohol and oil that I've already measured out. Uh, you will having a kitchen grade scale is not necessary, but if you have one, it'll be great. So that way, your uh, formula is more precise. Now, the plant I'll be using in this formula is magnolia. Of course, during this time of the year, they're all blossoming, blossoming and making the neighborhoods and areas around the town, at least here, smell so beautifully, so so beautifully. So I got really excited. Um, to pick this first magnolia of the year so magnolia has um, it's very similar to jasmine and its fragrance um, a little bit more subtle and um, it actually has some medicinal value to it magnolia in regards to the flower and the leaf and even the bark which um, I'll talk about in another video so I'll be utilizing that in this formula um, in a previous formula which you see there in the skull bottle I had used uh, honeysuckles in that one and it turned out great so essentially what you'll need is uh, your bottle that you're gonna put the perfume mixture in um, now here a perfumist if a perfumist was to look at this they would say this is a big no-no <laughs> so essentially what you want to do is get your essential oil base and then if you have plant um, substances to add to it you want to mix those two together and let them sit similar to how you'd have a tincture sit right for about six weeks you do the same thing for perfumes now this is a very last minute gift idea for Mother's Day so of course you can add them all in and incorporate them together and let them do their own thing chemically <laughs> this is gonna happen anyway um, so that's an option as well, but if you have the time to cure it, great. Now, according to most aromatherapists and perfumists, um, they normally sit for about two weeks, two to four weeks, and they cure in that set of time. And you know, the chemical constitutes of the plants get acquainted with, and they have time to simmer. Now here, I just pinched up some of the magnolia flower material. Now, this is uh, just to really alleviate and move around it, the oils and chemical compounds that are found in the flower similar to how you would take um, a green for example and you would beat it right before you would dry it it's the same same um, reasoning behind it it's just releasing those uh, compounds more readily that are in the plant so I just put those in there in a bottle and um, yeah and then you'll be good to go I will link below, I, d I posted a blog post regarding this specific recipe and any sort of other information regarding perfume making that may be of help to you, um, it's in that blog post. So I'll be sure to link it down in the description box below so you can refer it for later. So when you have, when you have all your ingredients, uh, mix it up and shake it all together um, and then you're good to go. Like I said, if you have the time to cure, let it sit. If not, then you can gift it like this and just inform the person about the curing time for their perfume. Now, perfume making at home is awesome because you're in control of what's in the bottle. Of course, that's the whole reasoning behind making things at home, right? So with perfumes, you're avoiding the synthetic fragrances and alcohols that are commonly found in commercial perfumes 
and you're in control of that so you can find a natural sources of those so you can have the same effect but you're not deterring your endocrine system right or your body's natural um, pheromones now in regards to the essential oils in this particular formula um, I found jasmine to be more harmonious with the magnolia they have similar notes now in perfumery if you delve into it or dabble into it a little bit you'll know about the top middle and base notes and this is what constitutes a the perfume concentrate in a perfume so magnolia and jasmine nicely together now if you want a more light fragrance right you can incorporate more of the top notes uh, such as the clary sage here actually I like I think clary sage is a bottom note if I remember correctly but other citruses like uh, bergamot is a great one as well that pair nicely with magnolia lavender is nice as well I personally just did not want to incorporate lavender because I use a lot of lavender <laughs> um, and I wanted something different something that I haven't used in a while so jasmine and magnolia was in this recipe in the blog post you'll find a different one I just utilized the honeysuckle and bergamot combination And that's really it for this video. I hope you found this helpful. Definitely, definitely source the blog post below as it has a load of information that you may find helpful in your perfume making process at home. And let me know in the comments what scents that you've been currently dabbling with or you want to, or that you want to experiment with. Let me know in the comments below. And I'll check you guys in another video. Bye for now.